Oh, Stan, this trip could not have come at a better time. Our lives have been so dull lately. I'm not gonna lie. I started stealing again. There, because we're actually going to Sacramento. Sacramento? That's so boring. Boring? But honey, Sacramento is broken up into four different areas. So then I told him, I like my men like I like my coffee in an extra large cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Margie, you gotta stop pounding so much. Coffee? Maybe we need to take a page from their book. Or maybe it's time for you to write a book of your own. Oh, my God. They're talking to us. We knew you were listening to us. We don't mind. We like it. Have your own TV show. People tell us that all the time. But I can assure you, we're not simple TV caricatures. We're real people with hopes and dreams. I'm Angie. I'm in it for money. I'm in it for love. I'm Denise. I'm in it to avenge my father. Those are some friendly skies. Oh, my God, Stan. You had a piece of glass in your eye. Beautiful the French language was until I had to learn it to do your homework. Merci. Sometimes I feel like I should be doing my own homework, but then I'm like, nah. Did you like my story? Oh, that explains why his ditch pic looks like this. <laughs> Quit looking at my ditch, nerd. <sighs> There you are, silly. We nerds have a long history of making our dream girls fall for us. Like that kid in Revenge of the Nerds who finally won the heart of that cheerleader. Oh, you mean the one who put on a Darth Vader mask so he could rape her at that carnival? Yes, sir. Good. But you players won't look up to me if you're having sex and I'm not. Now, whose house am I sleeping at tonight? <laughs> oh, my God, Steve. <gasps> Hey, 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 Jenna. Uh, you okay? Figgis broke up with me. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Black Russian? I can. Lay over in Moscow. <laughs> Sounds like you got laid over. <laughs> Don't try, Stan. Just you be you. Margie, last night was amazing. I want to finish what we started. I'm thinking me, you, and a weekend at my mansion in Monte Carlo. Oh, Cuban, that sounds incredible. But I'm working a flight to my... Then I guess that makes you a couple of naughty stewardesses. <gasps> <gasps> I'll see you guys later. Sounds good. And Margie... That's gin. You just gave me gin. Why would you discard a three? I don't know. Well, you know that beautiful girl, Jenna, I've kind of had my eye on? Is this the same girl whose picture you put in your pajama bottoms before you go to bed? You know about that? Who do you think takes your pajamas off at night? You wussed out? You're better than that, Steve. Did the Kennedys wuss out? No. They find a girl they like and then they drown them. Oh, uh, I guess you're right. Then we'll switch back and she's yours. Wait a minute, surgically switch faces? Why don't you just put on one of your costumes? Yeah, I guess I could. But I also got all these tools from my planet in my junk drawer. Hold on. <laughs> How are you not dead? Is... is my face off? Ah! Oh my god, the inside of your face smells so bad! Oh, that's just Greek yogurt. I spilled some in my eye socket yesterday, and then I went in the sun. This is so freaky. Okay, you should probably write down what you want me to do. I hope this was a good idea, Klaus. Did you finish my homework? Yeah, I did some work at home. I battered my fish stick to your candid in the yearbook. Now get over here and put this hand in your back pocket facing your ass. Great job, guys. Let me know if you run out of diet ginger ale. Thanks, Ange. But no one's ever run out of diet ginger ale. Wait a minute. Isn't that Mark Cuban's bodyguard? Why is he on this flight? Yeah. 
There's something fishy about that guy. I think he may have had something to do with my dad's death. <laughs> you think that about... We have to help Stan get that bag. We need to create a diversion. Naughty stewardess style. Yeah, yeah, whatever. No! <gasps> what is it? It's plans, too. No. I'm just thinking about the sun blowing up. It's gonna be so bright. Because this is happening. You and me. Dare I say, us? Be at the dance at 7 sharp. I'll be there around 9. What? This. Oh. Mm, mm. <sighs> so, did you get her? Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah, I got her. She's a special gal, Steve. Great! So I guess it's time to tag me back in. Yeah, yeah, you make a good point. Okay, we'll switch faces just as soon as I fix this lamp. What's wrong with it? It's broken. <laughs> ah, I shouldn't have hit him in the face. That's my face. I'm so glad to hear you say that. I want to be with you forever, Jenna. I'm pregnant with Figgis' baby. Everything's going to be all right, right? Of course. Oh, my God, of course. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Oh, thank God. It feels so good not to have your disgusting skin touching my face muscles anymore. What's the big news? Your hatred of my skin is news to me. No, about Jenna, you idiot. Wait, uh, there there might be one more thing. Oh, yeah, there is. I owe you this. <laughs> that was the thing. Run to her. All right, according to the notes scribbled on those blueprints, tonight's the night that Mark Cuban plans to blow up the sun. That's brilliant! Margie, thank God you're all right. We found out that Mark Cuban is trying to blow up the sun. We need to stop him. You know where he is? Yeah, he's in his study. Blow up the sun, and we're here to stop you. What? Oh, I see your confusion. I left off an S. It's the sun's. You know, I debated whether I should say blow up in these plans. What I meant was, I'm going to destabilize their franchise through swift and shrewd free agency moves. But blow up sounds way more exciting. Oh, but we do have an intern. We don't care if it is legal. We're the official airline of the Phoenix Suns. So when you mess with them, you mess with the naughty stewardesses. <laughs> Well, looks like we've beaten and hogtied you in your own home. So, says the girl who hasn't been to Sacramento yet. Oh, Stan, I love you. I love you too, honey. And I love you, Denise. Um, what? Wait a minute, where's Steve? Um, he went to meet his girlfriend's parents. But we play Jan on Thursdays. You could play with me. You like that? Yeah, it sounds like cute shorthand, but it's actually longer. So that's what I've been working on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Yes, I knew she was pregnant. Why do you think you got her back? Parents before. I'm so glad I have you. When I told you it was time to come clean to my parents about my baby, you didn't even hesitate. Don't even mention him. Steve's here now. I'm taking over. Mom! Dad! Steve's here! We've heard such nice things about you. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Halfway there. Still excited. <laughs> oh, my God! Darling, are you all right? What? What? Steve, don't play innocent now. You knocked up my baby girl? When I get down there, I'm gonna murder you. Don't you move! <laughs> Oh. How are you? How's Jenna? How's Jenna? Are you kidding? Hey, hey. You need to take a nice, calming sip of tea and abide by the rules. You need to kick this bitch to the curb. Pronto. I can't abandon her. I gotta do the right thing. Steve, that's not your responsibility. If it's anybody's, it's Figgis's. 
Steve, I think it's pretty obvious that this is one of those things I explain on the way. What's up, coach? Biggest, remember how I said I didn't want my players having sex if I wasn't getting any? Well, forget that. Get back together with your girlfriend. Okay, coach. So, get back together with your girlfriend, raise your baby together, and, well, see you at practice. And I hope you don't drop that baby as much as you drop the football. <laughs> now get out of here. Never say anything about this. And two, run 22 flea flicker plays in a row Friday night. Mm -hmm. Better than you in every way. Yeah, I agree. Come on, flea flicker! And that's the 22nd flea flicker. Now give me my pack of lifesavers. You're not gonna be this lucky forever, Roger.